What is up guys, Trizzle Trey with Triz Tech and Electronics, and in this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to protect my brand new gorgeous iPhone 6, and that's with this bad boy right here, the Neo Hybrid die cut aluminum from Speaking SGP. It's a variant of their ever so popular Neo Hybrid series cases, they usually have a plastic bumper and TPU style innards, but with this one it's an aluminum bumper and then the TPU style innards. I'm going to speed this up, put the device inside of it, but since it is kind of tough, uh, you snap the device into the TPU first, volume rocker side first, and then you take the aluminum bumper and put it in over the top. That's why the video is sped up here. It is kind of tough to put on. I still show you how to do it, but you got to finagle the plastic all over the chamfered edges of the aluminum, which we'll take a closer look at later. But once you do have it installed, it does look very good. I'm going to start off here on the bottom. As you can see here, the holes are cut out great for your 3.5mm headphone jack, primary microphone, lightning port, as well as downward facing speaker. On the left hand side of the device you have your mute switch which is right here and it's pretty accessible. It's a little hard to get at with your thumbs but it's still accessible as you can see here I am flipping it just fine. If you move farther down the left side of the case you have your volume rocker, your volume up and down. As you can see here they're also very very tactile and responsive uh, by pushing the volume up and down works very very well. Continue down the device that's it on the left hand side is the uh, volume rocker the bottom portion. If you move to the right you have your Neo Hybrid die cut aluminum branding as well as your sleep weight power as you see which is also very reactive and tactile just like the volume rockers and it does look very very good. As you can see in my hand here it doesn't make the case too much more bulkier but it does give it a lot of lay on the table design it really covers the front edge so you can lay it flat down. Flip it over to the back you have a cutout for your Apple emblem since it is such a designer product to own an iPhone. It feels very very good with that aluminum casing and the chamfered edges which you're seeing right here. It does feel really really good. It actually kind of feels like an iPhone 6 mixed with an iPhone 5S. Kind of giving you the rounded slash chamfered edge feeling as though it did with the iPhone 5S. I do have to say that I give this case two thumbs up. It is kind of awkward by putting it on and everything but other than that it's very very protective. It's stylish. It looks good. It doesn't add too much bulk while still giving it a lot of protection. I really do enjoy this case and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, pricing and availability will be listed in the description below. That pretty much does it for this review, guys. I really do enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Triz Tech and Electronics channel if you have not done so yet. We've got a lot more content coming. I have a few more iPhone 6 cases coming at your face, as well as uh, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini, all these other things that have just been released, as well as all the new Nexus devices. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace.